presence, thou art master, I am presence, clear the way, let thy light and all thy power take possession near this hour. Charge with victories, mastery, place the light and blaze thy substance into this thy form, descend, thy perfection and its glory shall this forth and earth transcend. I've been doing the I am presence, thou art master decrees on my way to face a challenge that came upon my path and I am willing to face. As I just saw the name of someone who challenged me when I was younger matched with the name of the puppy that I feel sacrificed itself in order to ensure that I didn't reproduce with a boyfriend at the time that would have locked me into a control dynamic that I would have felt suffocated and smothered by and the way that his death went down made it so that I knew that I did not want to co-parent with that man so it was all perfect at the time it's all perfect right now it doesn't show up the way that we think that it should it doesn't show up in a comfortable way it doesn't show up knowing that we're gonna win in fact maybe not but we have to have faith in ourselves that we were guided exactly where we needed to go for our soul to get the lesson that we needed to evolve and become the master of ourselves, to take our power back from all of those places where previously we plugged ourselves in irresponsibly and gave our power away freely, not understanding we didn't have to, we were just taught to. And this is why life is a matter of unraveling ourselves from all of those veils of illusion that we thought to be true, which were only just evil, where the energy was veiled over the truth that made us think one thing when the truth was otherwise. And so that is how we reveal the lies and help them become obvious, which were once oblivious. <sighs> And that is where I take a breath and simply say, it's a beautiful day, and I hope that you've enjoyed yours too. I hope that you will choose to bring faith into it too, because if you do, that is how you change the F in self, away from fear and into faith, understanding that fear is false emotion, not just evidence appearing real. And when we actually learn to deal with the emotions as they show up, letting us know that the pattern that was in us before no longer has to be the one that we give our power to moving forward, that then is when we completely revolutionize our lives and change the way that we see things too. So here is where I say, okay, it is time for me to go a different way and to meet ones that appreciate me despite how off the wall and different I may seem as the family. Oh, okay. There's five of them. I love it. Way to go, guys. That's beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love the human spirit, the human condition, even though it is sometimes difficult, oftentimes, because that is how we thrive. And I hope that you will be willing to go where you are called to in your day, because that is the way that you will grow to. And you can resent and resist the process, or you can just say, okay, tell me where to go and I will, and trust that you are being guided, that you are being given exactly what is needed for your soul's evolution to become the man or woman that you came here to be. And no, it will not make everyone comfortable. In fact, it will do the opposite. And there will be ones that you thought would love you and be there for you that are not, and it will hurt, and that's okay. That's just part of the process that you'll go through on the way to becoming who you always were, whose you always were, and who you came here to be in a world that needs your strength. 
So I hope this message means something to you and for you. And if you would please leave a message to let me know what that is, I do appreciate it. It gives me fuel and insight to be able to make more messages that are going to actually speak to your heart the way that I always intend to, to the best of my ability and sometimes do and sometimes don't, but at least I try. And that is how we allow others the grace to get where they need to go without trying to win the race, knowing that the light has already won. It is just a matter of having some fun along the way. <laughs> Peace out. Peace in. And I keep a store at a friend's place at his barn, and it's got this giant gravel yard. And what? they had these, I feel, I feel crazy for talking even from the fact that this happened. They have these yellow giant forks, you know, forks that go on the front of a tractor sitting in the middle of the yard. And this is the importance, too, of keeping your eyes on the road and not being distracted by anything. Because I something fell off the passenger side seat onto the floor, and I'm doing a loop around the yard. Whoa, I that bird over just got a little it, close. And sure enough, I hit it dead on these forks, and that sound of the crunching, oh, it just makes you want to cry. Something that happens so quick can cost a lot of money to fix. That's why it is so important to always keep your attention in front of you. Other details go to... Yeah, that's the point. Got to keep looking forward. The past is behind. You can glance in the review, but ultimately keep your eyes on the prize moving forward. That's the way. Woohoo! Okay, toodaloo, Lord J. Namaste, namago, for real this time.